Okoye, Okoye means being born on a Sunday. Coming from Nigeria, I was a track and field guy. 1982 was the year that I went to Azusa Pacific in California. Went there on track and field scholarship, was training real hard to be in the 84 Olympics. And when 84 Olympics came around, Nigeria didn't pick me, so um, I was heavily disappointed. Looking for something else to do because I was just sick of it. If I can't go to the Olympics, you know, why be in track and field? I uh, decided to play another sport. Soccer was a game that I really loved, but I was too big, you know, I couldn't play soccer anymore. My friends had been bugging me to play football. I uh, went to the football coach's office and asked him, can I play? And he said to me, <laughs> He says, okay, what, what position do you want to play? You know, I, I didn't know anything about the game. I kind of thought, I didn't know what to answer. And then, but I remember watching the Raiders play against Redskins earlier that year in 84, when uh, Marcus Allen reversed the field and ran 76 yards and scored. So I asked him, I said, um, I saw this run and you know, who was that? And uh, what position was that? He said, that was Marcus Allen and he was playing running back position. I said, that's what I want to play. When I first was drafted, coming from a small school, many people were saying that Christian Okoye is a project. I think the Chiefs saw something in me to trust that um, I'll, be, I'll do well. When you're running the ball, you have a goal to gain yards, not to lose yards. Each time you touch the ball, that's what I had. If I'm going to have a bad run, let it be only two or three yards. When I hit a hole, I want to make at least four yards. So that, that's my goal every time when I was playing. I remember one time we were in Seattle, we were on the 11-yard line, getting ready to run the ball. I was going right, you know, everybody was pulling left. So I said, uh-oh, I've already taken two or three steps. So I came around, and um, of course nobody was blocking by the time I got the ball. But I still scored a touchdown and run over at eight guys. That was my best run. Hand off Okoye, he's past the 10, he's past the 5, he chucks it, touchdown! Unbelievable! An incredible run by the Nigerian nightmare. Yeah, good, good, did it? Yeah. Yeah. My goal times. Are you okay? Yeah. 100%? Yeah. Good. Christian! Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. Get down, get your pads down, and make a hold of for his I tell you, when Marty came in town, he says, Christian, I want you to be prepared. We're going to run the ball, and we're going to run it a lot. I was happy because I haven't played football for very long, you know, so I knew that I can't go and study all the defenses and try to see what safeties are doing and so on and so forth and line up outside as a receiver. I couldn't do that. All I wanted is hand me the ball and I'll run it as many times as you want. And they did, so I loved it. Marty Sean Hammer was big. Coming from Nigeria, I left my family. When you're a young kid growing up, you always need your father, you need, you need your parents, you need somebody to look up to. But coming to Kansas City Chiefs and having Marty here, and the things that he will say to you in the meeting rooms and before games, and you know, it kind of hit home. You know, sometimes when players will go through their careers, uh, they tend to live by the things that their coaches said to them. The things that you said in the, in the meeting rooms meant so much to me, coach. Um, and I love you for that. Thank you so much because uh, you are number two guy in my life, apart from my dad, that I learned from. So thank you so much. It feels good when you have the ball and you know the guy in front of you is way smaller than you and he's ducking. A lot of times when you're coming through the hole and see a guy sitting there squatting waiting for you, I mean he's scared and his, his eyes are big and he's just sitting over there, which I saw a lot, you know. Then you just look ahead, look past him because you're going to run him over and move on. It feels good every time uh, Chiefs will have a good running back emerge and my name is mentioned because when I played, I often told people that when I played, I didn't really give it all because I didn't know anything about the game. I was still learning the game, you know, but I did enough for people to remember me and uh, that makes me feel good. Running game is actually uh, the thing that makes the game. People enjoy seeing a good running game when a game is going on and the Chiefs tend to provide that year after year.